Hello and welcome to the tutorial on comparing numbers. Now in this tutorial we're going to do numbers up to 10 but we're going to use the number line. So numbers up to 10 using the number line. Now do you recall what the three symbols are? Let's write them down again. We've got less than, equals, and greater than. Always remember that the arrow points to the smaller number. So let's work through our first example. Let's suppose we've got these numbers. We've got the number 4, and we've got the number 7. Now, which symbol do you think should go between them? Well, it's a nice easy one. What we're going to do is, firstly, is that we're going to draw the number line. So let's do that over here. Now, don't forget, a number line is simply a line with numbers. It can start at any number and end at any number. Our number line is going to start from 0. It's going to go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's keep going. 8, 9, and 10. So we start at 0 and we finished at 10. So let's have a look at our question again. 4 and 7. Now, where do you think the 4 and the 7 are on the number line? Well, the number 4 is here. Where is number 7? Number 7 is here. So, number 7 is more than number 4. We know that. And we know that from our number line because number 7 is further along the line. So, number 4 is smaller. So, which symbol do you think we should place in the middle. That's right, it goes this way. Because number 4 is smaller than 7. And don't forget, the arrow has to point towards a smaller number. That was nice and easy, wasn't it? Right, now we are going to look at another example. Now suppose in this case we have the number 9 and we have the number 5. So we've got numbers 9 and 5. Now let's have a look at the number line. Number 9 is over here. Where is number 5? It is over here. So number 9 is larger than number 5. Which is a smaller number? It is 5. So the arrow has to point towards the smaller number. So it's like that. The arrow is pointing, and here is the point. It is pointing to the smaller number, which is 5. So there we have used less than and more than as examples. The equal sign is pretty straightforward. In fact, we could do it very quickly here. What if we had the numbers 6 and 6? Well, that's nice and easy. Where do they appear? Well, they appear here and in one place. If they appear in one place, then it's equals. We know that. That was very easy. So that is how we do, how we compare numbers up to 10 using the number line. 